Friends, we're back at the table with some gifted and thrifted items that you might want to see right here on my take on Home and Garden. Guys, I have to show what I found thrifting and we got a couple of straggler Christmas gifts coming in that are really worth showing and see what we got today. Do you guys remember our wonderful friend Jessica sent 12 owls for the 12 days of Christmas. Three owls weren't here <laughs> by Christmas, but they did come in one after another after another, and one is from Ukraine, and it's fantastic. So I wanted to show you that too today. Check it out. Here's the last three owls. This one's fantastic. The owl by the tree trunk. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? I just can't stop grinning. Really beautiful. And this can go on the table to get a look. Now, here's another one. And she had sent pictures so we would know everything that came properly. <laughs> I don't know how she did it. We're, we're so tickled with her for taking the time to do this. I mean, who's going to, you know, there's only a handful of our friends that would do it. Jessica, I don't know what we're going to do with you and her husband, Michael. They've been just superb. This one, if I'm not mistaken, because, you know, I can't hang on to all the boxes packaging and these will go in a, a nicer box. I'm sure this owl in the tree trunk is the one from Ukraine. It came direct from the shipper. What, what can I tell you about this one, guys? It is just so sweet. <laughs> this is superb. It's like the cherry on top of all of them. I'm just over the moon about it, and Angela is too, of course. Absolutely thrilled for the piece, who got it, and where it come from. Really special. So thanks, guys. You're just amazing and awesome. So we'll let him move along. Next, our wonderful, see how many times I use wonderful today? <laughs> That's how many wonderful people there are out there in our YouTube family. Karen Alsbury, just a sweetheart. She sends something all the time. She sent two more Hummels and she sent it with a chocolate bar with the caramel center. I don't think that even made it out of the room. <laughs> and it was good. Let's look at this. Here's picking up the mail girl. Real sweet. This is probably their four, four and a half inch high. Love the coloring and the faces are superb. By Goebel of Germany. Okay, and then we got another four inch piece, and this is the little chimney sweep boy. Anybody that loves Hummels has seen him. Just superb. We love him too. And she says in her cute card, Merry Christmas. And she goes on in here to say, Sorry these were so late. She got what I won't say on our show, flu, and it took her down pretty hard for a while. Of course, she had my take on Home and Garden to pull her through. We've done before. <laughs> I'm teasing, but a lot of you will say it, so we're so glad to help. Thank you, Karen. We always appreciate you. Since we're on the gifts, I'll finish the last one. Somebody is right on 
with this gorgeous, what looks like a piece of Lennox, but it is home accents made exclusive for Belk. Look how good. Just over the moon about it, guys. It's about 10 inches long by five in that antique white with gold trim. Certainly 22 to 24. And we didn't have this, so you know I'm over the moon and nuts about it. It is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Mystery friend. <laughs> because I don't have a name with this. We thank you very much. Next is Daytona Flea. Okay, I held something back because we had a lot in the last one. This was a guy down the way from where I usually go. Folks, look at this glorious, what I call an English style picture. And this is by Marseille. I did find an example in uh, Google search, but they have no clue about date, cost or money stamped on the bottom. WC with a, it almost looks like a drilling rig. And so I've got to find this yet. So I can't tell you everything about it. It is heavier, so it is stoneware. And it's just glorious with its pattern. Look at the pattern. Here's your major side, like I talk, and your minor side, which is simply means less artwork on the minor side. That's so typical. Right away that tells me this is a better piece because they did something on the minor side at all. Okay, remember how we talked before about things. The better porcelain and items have something on both sides. We won't have a light for this because it's going to block it, but it will turn for us and look cool. <laughs> All righty. Next, believe it or not, you're not going to believe it because I couldn't believe it. This is two different Goodwill stores, okay? And I get mad at them and I don't really promote them anymore because they don't let me film in there. The ones you see are filming with their phone real quick and they don't ask and I don't do that. So I'm not happy with them except I will run in and out and get their bargains if they have any. Look at this beauty. You know this is coming later and we have some blue and white. This I thought was extra sweet, okay? Made in China, beautiful blue and white dinnerware. And I'm pretty sure this is stoneware as well. Just loving it, love it, <laughs> okay? When you go in thrift stores, a lot of them will bundle things together and put one price on the bottom. It's a way to get you to get some of their lesser things out of there for them. I was in there snooping around, took my daughter before she had to go back to school. She likes to look. I saw a stack of eight cup saucers, just the saucers, okay? It had so much plastic wrap on it, you couldn't read anything. I'm going, who wants this? They're all different. You can see the edges, you know, they're all different. So poking around, looking along, here's a, another stack with only six teacups all wrapped together the same way you can hardly see, but you can see that they're all different. And I'm going, what is that? What, what kind of sale point is that, right? So. I said, I know their, their tricks. They'll put unwanted things together and wrap it all up and give you a good price. Well, the prices were good. I'm not gonna mention 
prices all the time because some of these things I'm picking up for our store so you can enjoy what I find too. But let me show you. I took a chance and I thought, I know how they work. I'm going to take a chance for the money on each bundle and hope the heck some of it goes together. <laughs> So you're not going to believe, out of eight saucers, five matched the cups out of six that I got. So really, really, you see this grin, you can't wipe it off or change it. Even the saucers and the cup that don't go together, there's nothing wrong. So I will save them and you know how I talk. I'll look for those down the road. This first one was made in England for Avon Incorporated. Real cute. It is called Fine Bongina Pink Roses, made in England exclusively for Avon products, 1974. Gorgeous piece. Look at this, girls and guys. Look at this. Oh my goodness, here's an early rose. This is what I call an antique or a standard rose. And I gotta read that again. Ardalt, this, this is numbered in gold and it's bone china. Royal Ardalt, made in England, okay? Look at this beauty. An early, early rose by no other name, I guess. <laughs> Some cutie just gave up and said, I'm sick of dusting and donated them and that was it. Or it was left over from a sale and just donated. This is what you can do when you get off the couch <laughs> and go hunting and look and have fun. This is Royal Victoria made in England, fine bone china and complimentary saucer. Well, I want to be totally square here. This saucer is Royal Halsey. L&M, Royal Halsey, very fine. You know, we've talked about this one before. These two are not exact, but it's a good looking match. This is probably my favorite. Royal Albert Bone China. We all know it's made in England. Look at this dandy. Yellow roses in a completely different style than the one we carried and collected that you've seen here. And I have some different ones and they're just nothing like this. This is completely different piece. This is cute and it was a surprise as well. This looks like apple blossoms and it is fine bone china crown Staffordshire England. It is numbered with gold, gold trim, just gorgeous. I, I was trying to see if that's maybe a dogwood but it's I think this is either an early rose. Oh gorgeous or an apple blossom really cute guys look at this so really really made out there finding all these goodies for good prices did i mention the blue and white plate five dollars okay the glorious marseille early farmhouse style picture ten dollars <laughs> are you kidding i'll mention those prices because they're not going anywhere now also folks from karen allsbury i had to see this little pouch to remember and how impossible when they're right here she is so funny and such a sweetheart she said, Jeff, I want you to be the sexiest man in Florida. <laughs> so 
So she sent me two real tiger eye bracelets, which are right here. Here's one, here's two, with the dingleberries underneath. I usually have the other ones tied up, but just to show you hers. Now I gotta share something too. The first time I put them on, I put them on right away. They turned so they would like this. And then I was doing something and I turned my arm and one rolled and touched my hand and I thought a fly was on me and I had a fit. I was swatting at nothing and <laughs> looked. <laughs> so it took a minute to get used to them, but I'll tell you, they haven't been taken off since and I love them. The color is superb. What a cutie. Thanks, Karen. You really got good taste and you seem to know mine. So, love it, love it, thank you. And last but not least, what I got to show you today, guys, took the crown for that day. This was in a thrift store as well. It is the biggest hand-blown piece of West Virginia glass I've ever had my hands on or ever even seen in a store. It's in my birth color, emerald green birthstone, and it's got bubbles in the glass. It's a giant piece of art glass vase, and you can see on the bottom where the guy had his wand, his pipe making this, and when it was ready, he broke it off on the bottom. And that's why it's rough here on the bottom. He got this all worked out and it is gorgeous. Have you ever seen such a big piece? This could be Kawani, it could be Blanco. I haven't found it yet. But you know, there was a lot of wonderful West Virginia glass companies all through there, Southern Ohio, even into New York State, and it is superb. Now I gotta tell you what I got it for. This reminds me of the big, put your shoes away. Before I tell you, $7.50. <laughs> oh man <laughs> sometimes you just gotta let it out you know I love it for May my birthday month and for Christmas it's gonna be good folks take care if I can get my composure back Oh man, it's just so good. It's so good. That's why we go. That's why I spend the time and look. And you can do the same. Take care, everybody. Give us a like, a share, a comment. Send a buddy over. <laughs> Blessings, everyone. And we'll see you in the next amazing, over the top, awesome shop with me or decorate with me possibly a cook with me video see you soon